Uh, that's a good cup of coffee. I'm gonna just stick that over here. Uh, it's such a beautiful day out in the gold mine. Got the mountains all the way in the background and everything else. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Forgot he was coming. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back on the gold mine series. If, if you see that I removed the intro, that is because I did. I didn't like it, so I decided just to remove it. And if you guys think that everything looks a little bit different today on today's video, it does. Okay, if you didn't realize, uh, we'll just go with that, that nothing happened. My game save got corrupted on here. I had the wrong map. But anyways, someone's here from the gold smelter. I'm supposed to be buying his truck for like 20 grand. So I'm going to go ahead and make this deal. And once it happens, I will be back with y'all. Man, this is a nice dodge. Alrighty, the deal has been done. I write, wrote him a check for 30 grand. He, he's, uh, his, one of his buddies is gonna go pick him up up the road there. So yeah, we got a new truck. So there's a truck that we bought. I have never seen this color on a Dodge before, and I gotta say, this is really nice. I like this color. Yeah, it's a 5500 heavy duty turbo diesel. I found this on the marketplace that was like around here in the area, about like 15, 20, 30 minutes away. So yeah, I went ahead and got it. It's got the flat bed. It's got a slip tank full of diesel. So yeah, that's good. It's gonna be helpful around the uh, gold mine here. So yeah, if you haven't seen the last video, we started a gold mine with zero dollars and just a truck. Basically, we found a couple pieces of equipment, which was the old and rusty do things here, the case and the other case. So we got the skid steer, which comes with pallet forks, which I need to reattach that because over last night I was busy, you know, filling up the sluice box here and i got two things of concentrate here with look at all the gold in there oh dude it's gonna be such a good day i was uh doing that last night i went to sleep and uh came back out there's two boxes sitting here with concentrate and gold that's what we're gonna be doing today i just gotta get these out of the way real fast and then uh we can go ahead and get to work i'm just gonna i'm gonna move my dog i'm gonna move the uh, new truck down here so i can actually get them loaded up all right so i just got the uh bucket reattached on the uh skid here so i'm just gonna go we're gonna go ahead straight into this like i said we're gonna have to fill that up with stream pay last i was in here i noticed a lot of stream pay over here in this section over here got our first bucket of stream pay we're gonna go ahead and put this up in the sluice here and hopefully this is gonna be a good day like it was yesterday i'm really looking forward to making some money here there we go first bucket done time to get the other bucket i really do like gold mining this is about like the probably the best I almost dumped my whole payload dirt here. Yeah, this is about like the best series that I probably got so far because it's just, I don't know. I kind of, I really like doing it. Um, in my opinion, it's fun and it's just very fun working with all the uh, different machines here. Uh, at first, I was really skeptical about starting it. Uh, I'll just keep going ahead. I'll just keep going until we get some, keep getting our uh, pay here. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and do a time loss for you guys. Top off her cheek. The 
You know, I am pretty surprised that this skid steer does run as well as it does for how long has it been sitting. You, you can definitely tell it's been sitting for a long time here. Alright, I do see a bunch of gold here. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, let me get back to work. No, 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 no. It's been some time here. We got a couple blocks to concentrate here, so I think it's a good time to actually load them up and take them over to the people who separate them, and then we can possibly melt them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and load them up in my truck. Alrighty, got that all loaded up. Let me put the parking brake on because the brakes in this thing suck. So yeah, we got this all loaded up, and it looks a little messy right now, but hey, it is what it is. At least there ain't no cops in the Yukon Valley, right? So let's go ahead and get up out of here onto the road. I only got, we only got to go up by like. 15 minutes away. Let's go on and get out of here and see if we get rich. Mama told me when I was young. All right, about 15 minutes later, we have just arrived. Well, they got a dog. That someone they must live here then too. Got to go ahead and pull up in here. And once we get all this done, it's gonna take a few hours. I'll be back with y'all soon. Alrighty, well it's been about two days and we got our four pieces of gold. I don't know why they didn't set it on a pallet. I will catch you guys once we get over into the town there to go and sell all of this gold. Alrighty, so just about got into town and I know you guys are gonna ask, why is your gold bars not on pallets? Um. I don't know how to get them to spawn in pilots. So we're just gonna ignore that and pretend that they are on pilots. Yeah, I'm just kinda curious to know how much we're gonna I'm gonna get. We're at eighty seven thousand dollars right now. Hopefully this will get us enough to get some more equipment. We had eighty seven thousand dollars and now we're up to eight hundred thirty three thousand dollars. My math ain't math and right or it's really the gold prices are up right now i mean it is in the almost winter time so i guess gold rush season anyways i'll catch you guys over at the dealership Alrighty, well the road took us to the dealership uh not sure exactly what i'm gonna be buying right now instead of going back and forth with the skid steer it'd be better to have a dump truck and this one was only like twenty five thousand dollars yeah all in total was spent like thirty thousand this will come in handy too i know it's a little weird but hey and once we get back over to the mine site, I will be back with you guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left my sluice box on too, uh, now that I think of it. So we might have a bunch more concentrate pallets. Yeah, I still don't know my way around the Yukon, so I'm just still getting, like, used to it around here, I guess. I missed my turn. Let me just, you know. Oh, yeah, we got three boxes of concentrate down there. I didn't even realize when we left. I didn't even realize we I left the sluice box running. Oh, dude, I really can't believe we made that much money in just one day. Basically a night and day. But hey, what I could do is just keep these pallets up right there for now. Let me, I'm gonna go ahead and move these boxes of concentrate real fast. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Alright, I got that all loaded up there. Probably just gonna go ahead and probably just head in for the night, make some dinner, and then I'll catch up with you guys the next morning. Alright, well it's been about a couple days or the next day or something like that. I can't keep track. <clears throat> Anyways, so decided to put the uh, pilots on the trailer as you seen in the last clip. So I think what we're gonna be doing is gonna go ahead and add more pay dirt to the sluice box there so we can get more of an income. I'm not gonna be filling it up this time. I'm just gonna be you know a little bit at a time here and there uh, but let's go ahead and start filling it up i'm thinking about buying a, another property i'm not 100 percent sure yet not exactly entirely sure where to actually go ahead and buy the new property yet went to verify that though so go ahead and and then go ahead and get to work see how this thing is going to work out i don't know if it's going to be more efficient than the skid steer but if it's not i'm just going to go ahead and sell it because i'm not going to go sit here and waste my time obviously this thing's gonna pay for itself either way because it's only it was only 25 grand uh but yeah i'm pretty sure this is only gonna be like uh one load at a time man i always had stories about the city line and the crazy nights figure i should probably get Alrighty, so it's been a few hours now. Man, it looks so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, man. Anyways, 
It's been a few hours now, and I got we got two boxes of concentrate sitting here. I made a little bit of a happy accident and uh, spilled some there. Yeah, I got the rock truck still there. That's all right. Uh, so I guess let's go ahead and get the forks here. We can go ahead and put the con uh, concentrate onto the semi trailer there. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. Go get the uh, pallet forks on and be with you guys here in a minute. We go to load it up there. Now we can go ahead and head over to our uh, best place there to get this all sorted out into some bottles and then go ahead and get it all smelted down. Without further ado, I'll catch you guys once we get over there. All right, so I was looking on my map and there's actually two places to sell your gold bars over at the uh, Johnson's place and then port area. It's about the same distance from each other alrighty well while I wait for them to turn into some gold flakes I'm probably just gonna chill here or go into town get some dinner uh, be back with you guys after our gold is loaded up onto the trailer here all right well it's seven in the morning just got back on the road they gave me a call at six in the morning said they're almost done figured I'd just come now they called me again when I was on the road and they did say that they are done uh, I know it's been a day but they said it only takes so long because they got other people coming in and out you know wanting their stuff smelted down and whatever but it don't look like much from all the pallets there is a lot of gold here so that is a plus um they said there wasn't a lot of uh flakes in the concentrate there so that that's the best they could do I i'm not mad about it uh this is probably going to give us a lot like a pretty good amount of yield uh in gold so once we hit, get over there i will catch you guys here in a little bit honestly i am actually enjoying my time playing on the yukon map um <clears throat> i always thought it looked boring and you know other people's videos but honestly this is like the best map i probably ever played on and you guys could probably tell in my voice and the gameplay that i'm actually enjoying doing this series with you guys now they said if i bring it over to the port give me a little bit more money because it's going global i guess i don't know it's kind of like the stock market they said but anyways uh we are here at the port oh my god all right if you look at the top right corner we've made 1.3 million dollars on all of that gold oh my he just made 1.3 million dollars is unbelievably amazing we are going to be rich by the time we live leave the Yukon. Now it just makes me want to go buy a vehicle, honestly. I just want to go buy a vehicle now. Well, with that being said, in the last few days to a week with the work that we had been putting in, even though we didn't make that much yield and gold, a oh, little over $1.3 million is actually pretty good in my say. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what, what I should do with this money we done made, if I should buy some land, buy some more equipment, or just go a little bit bigger with the gold mine. Uh, I do want want to get another piece of property i think i'm going the wrong way i have no clue but yeah i want to buy more land and expand out just a little bit on the gold mine get a nice bigger piece of property and you know go from there and see what we can turn out to be a successful gold miner let me know down in the comment section below what we should do with this money like i said either buy land or more equipment i would like to do both if possible but yeah uh, i will catch you guys in the next episode I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.